This is Voluntas, my ultimate Iron Man. As an ultimate Iron Man, I cannot trade nor use a bank, but I decided to push my restrictions a little further and became a Slayer Pure account. My Slayer level will not be going above 1. This locks off many items and other conveniences that Slayer provides. And what for? Yalnibrek, a pet received at a 1% chance from the Inferno, one of the most difficult pieces of content in the game, a symbol of mastery in the Inferno. And for me, conquering it without Slayer. Well, I just finished my final herb run, and this is the looting bag. I think it's time to use some of these herbs. It is nerve-wracking having 70 herb lore in my bag and not using it. Once I use the herbs, I will feel much more at ease. Alright, so Marantils usually aren't worth using for herb lore training. However, there's a special method for both Guams and Marantils. If you partially complete Lunar Diplomacy, you can basically drop trick some vials, and if you use a Guam and a Marantil on the vial, it's not a useful potion, but it gives you 84 XP per herb which is very high, especially for Guams and Marantils, which are so abundant. So I need to start Lunar Diplomacy. For that, I have two skill requirements I need. I need 65 magic and 61 crafting. I'm gonna start out with the magic because I can complete that with a single quest. This one, Watchtower, it should give me 15,000 XP, which is just enough. There's Watchtower. And there is the magic requirement. Alright, now the other requirement I have is crafting, which I need to go to Port Phasmatis for. I'm gonna do the charter ship method. I need 61, so it's gonna take a little longer than magic took me. There it is. I need to do one more thing actually, which is 70 agility. I need it for Song of the Elves anyway, and it's gonna help me with my potion brain, at least for one of my herbs. So back to the Sears Village course. Right there's 70. And now I do have one more small grind to do. I'll buy some nature runes and a cosmic rune. I'm gonna go get a diamond ring and turn it into a ring of life because the first thing I'm gonna do with herbs is technically gonna be dangerous and I'd rather not die with all these herbs especially if they're at the silver bank because then if I die I'll lose everything. Well there's a diamond so I can make it myself. All right there we go. Now on to Lunar Diplomacy. Well, I need all four of the elemental talismans for Lunar Diplomacy, so I need to kill all of these wizards until I have all of the talismans I need. Oh! So now essentially, I use kindling on the vial, and I get an empty vial, and then I drop the kindling, and then I get another kindling and another waking sleep vial. So by doing this, I get a bunch of empty vials, but I'm not using these yet because I need an empty inventory. All right, now that I have a full inventory, I can head over to the town and I can fill these with water. And now I head over to the bank, unnote a Marantil, use it for 84, and I'll do this four times. And now I do it with Guams. Now I destroy these, and now it gets a bit easier. I can use 5, and now I use the Guams, and now I get more vials. And there are all the Guams and Marantils used. Although the Lunar Staff functions as a Dreaming Staff, it gets destroyed on death, and as an ultimate that's not very useful. So I'm gonna go get a knife and see if I can get a Dreaming Staff. Alright, there we go. Now I can get my items back. Alright, this is everything. I need to use the rest of my herbs, and 
for them, I need water vials. So I can buy packs of water vials here. It gives me 100 noted each. For all my herbs, I need 4,207 vials of water. So I'll buy 43 of these packs. And those are all the vials of water I need. And I also need about 1,200 eyes of new. So I can buy these and it's 100 noted each as well. But to make this whole herb lore thing nicer to do, I'm going to use something I haven't really talked about. Usually on an ultimate, you use Zelra as a storage device and as a way to reorganize your inventory. People use Zelra because it's free and pretty easy to access. However, you can use other death storages across Gelenor, and one of those is Hespori. Now, every time you want to access your items after you die to reorganize your inventory, it takes 25,000 coins per death, and it's also quite out of the way, but you get an interface to choose what items to withdraw, so it's really nice for when I need to take out one item at a time. Oh, now I need to walk back to this boy, which is at pretty much the furthest point from me. Alright, and I can collect here. And the unlock fee for the items is 25k. And now I can choose what I want to take. And first I'm going to use Terramins. They'll be quite annoying to use. What I need to do is first chop down a bunch of trees. Now I need to light fires. And now I need to take off everything and use this here. And then unnote the terramins and then make these. And then I need to go to these fires and collect the ashes and make these. So I'm sure you can imagine, but this will take a while. But from all these terramins, I should get like 40,000 XP. So it's pretty nice. All right, well, those are all of the terramins used. It was about 10k XP an hour. Well, on to the next herb. I think next I'm going to use my Harlanders. They will be quite annoying to use, but I have to use them sometime. And I need to get my money for this, so I need to go to Nightmare Zone. Alright, I'll withdraw 21,000 GP. I'll need to refill this coffer as soon as I can, just in case I need to use the Silver Bank. Alright, so for this... I'm gonna need to hop as well, which makes it kind of annoying, but so I take off 10 pieces of armor, unknow the water files, unknow the Harlanders, make the unfinished potions, and then I would get all the chocolate. Actually, I can configure left click to use, and now I can just use back and forth, and then I make these into energy potions. Now these could be useful to keep but it's just too difficult to get them to the GE to note them, which I'll show that later, but basically there is no keeping these, so I'll be dropping all of them. Alright, that's everything. Back to the Spory Bank, and I think now is when I'm going to start keeping potions. I think first I'll do Aventos, which means I also need this sickle. Now, where would be a good place to bloom? Alright, this seems good. So for here, I just need to grab a bunch of fungus by casting bloom with the silver sickle. Take this fairy ring over to Edgeville. And then this is where things get awkward. Alright, so I can drop half of these, or just about at least, and then make these and they give a lot of XP. And then I decant into one doses, and it costs a bit of GP because it needs to buy the vials in order to be able to store everything. But this is how ultimate store potions in noted form. You put them into one doses because otherwise you might have a bunch of four doses and then a leftover one dose. So one dose just means it takes one inventory slot. I want to keep them because I want to eventually make them into stamina potions, which I'm going to need for PVM. Right, 65. That's all of the Aventos used. When I use the decanter at the Grand Exchange, it costs 5 coins per extra vial it gives me, since I'm decanting it into smaller quantities. I actually need a bit of GP to be able to make all the potions I want, so I'm gonna buy some nature runes here and get some hamstorm keys and alk some jewelry. 
Alright, and for the most part, the rest of these should be pretty easy. The next herb I'm using is actually slightly dangerous and a bit inconvenient, so I'll get that out of the way. It's the Lantidimes. I need to get Dragon Scales, so I need to go to the Taverly Dungeon to get the Dragon Scales. I need to clean them, because I wasn't able to before. Oh, alright, well, I guess I'll do Renar Weeds next. So I just unnote then use the potion, and then I unnote the slave grass. And now I have prayer potions, and these ones are obviously really useful, so now I just note these and keep them here. Alright, there's all of that dealt with. Alright, and now one that will take a while, but I can just unnote at the GE. Here it's, this will just be me at the GE, unnoting and turning the potions into notes because Irrits gives super attacks, which I can either use when PVMing, or I can eventually, at 90 herb lore, turn into super combats. Alright, and there's 66. There are all of the Irrits used. Next, I'm gonna use my snapdragons. They will be a little annoying to use, but might as well get them out of the way. So I come down here and I just go around and collect these spider eggs. I can get 19 per inventory, so it should only take like 15 inventories. And then I just teleport home to get to a fairy ring and go back to Edgeville to be able to get back to the G. Now I'll drop about half of these and I can make them into potions. And now I just use the spider eggs on the potion to make the restore. So this is how I get restores. Alright, there's 68. Only two more levels till 70. And a little bit over 400 doses of super restore. Back to some easy herbs where I just need to unnote the herb in secondary. Alright, and that's all of the forms used. Onto the second to last herb. And that herb will be Catentines, which is just the same thing of unnoting the herb, vial, and secondary. 69, which means I can make anti-fires, which is where my land times are gonna go. There are all of the catentines used. Now to use the final herb, Lantidimes. This will be a little complicated. It's gonna require some juggling, so I need to make these and then teleport to Falador. And I need to make a quick stop at Taverly for a Hustle Mortar for this. And here I will be able to drop my potions. I'll grab these scales and I can grind them up and make the potion. And then I drop these to pick up the rest of the unfinished potions. And then to finish it off, I grab a full inventory of these to take to the bank. And now I just make another inventory of unfinished potions. It's not the greatest herb, but it is a fair amount of XP. And it should get me to 70 actually, which I didn't think I'd get to. I thought I'd need to do quests for it. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go sell these quickly. Alright, that's a bit of money. There's 70, which is the Song of the Elves requirement. I'll just finish up using these Lantidimes. Well, that's all of the herbs used. I feel much more at ease now that I've used all my herbs and have 70 herb lore. That is the most difficult requirement for Song of the Elves out of the way. Well, anyway, my next plan should be pretty interesting, but that'll be for later. Well, I'll see you next time. Maybe.